What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day out there today. So today we are going to take out the ramp again. Uh, we haven't had the ramp out for quite a bit. We've been down at the skate parks and the BMX track and the motocross track quite a bit, but I uh, haven't had the old ramp out in a bit. So I figured take that down to the, the uh, local park, set it up, maybe have a little fun. We're going to take with us the uh, Creighton EXB with us and the Outcast 6S. Um, really those are the only two cars I can run at the moment because um, after the uh, fire the other day, <laughs> um, I lost most of my batteries. I don't have any 4S batteries. Um, I have one 3S battery left, but um, pretty much the only thing that survived was the 6S battery. So we're going to run the 6S car. So stay tuned, everybody. Well, guys, I real quickly just figured I'd show you the shop area down here. Um, I got most of it all back together again. Um, we got another table set up down here with my toolbox and all that stuff. And we got the charging station together. Um, this is what I went with now. Um, I also did, went down to my local hobby shop there. Um, they happened to have one of these balance plugs. So I grabbed one of those and um, also grabbed the main charging lead. And I tested out the old Venom charger. She's melted a little bit, but I charged both my 6S packs on both sides of it. And she seems to be working fine still and had no problems charging the 6S packs. Um, what I'm doing now is charging them inside of one of these steel ammo cans. And the other one is for holding uh, the charged light bows. And I also took the rubber gasket out of it so that um, if one of them did catch fire or something inside of there, the, um, the, can the canister didn't turn into a bomb, basically. So it still was able to vent, at least. So that is the current setup. Um, place my airline hose. Still have a stain down there on the floor from the melted light bows and carpet and all that good stuff. But uh, most everything has recovered. The basement still smells kind of like a burning trash dump, but uh, <laughs> it's slowly going away. But um, anyway, guys, enough yakking. Let's head down to the park and have a little fun with these two. All right, guys, well, we have made it down to the park. We got the Outcast 6S with us, and we got the Creighton EXB. Um, the Creighton uh, the EXB, I just finally got running again. Um, I got a brand new differential case in the rear that I snapped off down at the track whenever the ESC cut out. Um, and I also got the new ESC in there. Um, I tested it out real quick for about I don't know, 15 20 minutes um, had no issues with it cutting out so it does appear it was the ESC that went bad um, on this thing so seems to be running good again but um got the outcast here still with a little bit of ash on it as you can see um <laughs> still black stuff remaining on stuff from the fire but uh we're gonna go ahead and give us a single blast so let's have some fun here got the ramp set up down here at the park we're gonna maybe bounce around some different spots down here and set this up and have some fun Wow, I did turn the dual rate down to about 60%. It seems like it's definitely makes it a little easier trying to hit these ramps. Um, with a re so the steering isn't so reactive and twitchy. Definitely seems to help with lining up for the jumps. Forgot how well this ramp launched them. Oh, oh. Well, that's not how you're supposed to hit the ramp try to get a good full speed launch at this thing oh dang I couldn't get it corrected again all right we're gonna try that again because that was a rather rough landing on the outcast kind of hard sometimes trying to get lined up see it always seems like at that last second it decides to drift off a little too much to one side and end up hitting the side of the ramp. Oh, wow. Landed it, but it was a rough landing. Holy cow. Just got her over back, back wheel side down at the very last second on that one. Oh, oh I think I knocked the battery loose on that one. Put a, uh, holy cow, a nice little bumper-sized divot in the ground. <laughs> Jeez. Nice little launch. A little harder trying to line them up from this direction. Definitely, hitting a ramp definitely takes some practice, that is for sure. Well, that cast is jumping nice today. 
had some rough landings already, but so far she's taken it. I did bend the rear shock tower a bit, so I'm going to have to straighten that back out again. But besides that, she's holding up good. On that one landing where it came upside down, it uh, came down a little too hard on that rear shock tower and twisted it forward a bit. I was trying to set up the tripod to use the try and get a different position, but it wasn't working out very well. Just died on me. I think I knocked the battery loose again. Try hitting this again. Got it that time. Scoutcast is taking a little punishment down here today. Had some bad landings on it already. Still ticking though. Ooh. Still on our wheels. Alright, we're going to try to get a good full speed launch at this thing. Ooh. That was not an ideal landing. I just broke the body. It is snapped clean right in the middle, it looks like. That was a horrible landing. <laughs> oh, yeah. She is... She's broke. <laughs> to say the least. Well, the outcast is in pretty bad shape. <laughs> the shock tower is pretty badly bent up. Um, so we're going to give her one last send, and then we are going to bust out the EXB, I think. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's a good way to finish off the run with the Outcast. One last good send. All right, guys. Well, we got the EXB out now. We try not to be too hard on this thing at the moment. Just finally got this thing back running again. Just kind of want to give it a good test out today. Make sure that it's not cutting out anymore. And all that good stuff. Um, we still got the differential locker in this thing in the rear. Uh, so far, it's still been holding up really well, too. So we're going to give this thing a few tens and uh, see how she handles it. All right, we're going to make our first pass. Beautiful landing. She landed that nicely. All right, go for run two. Beautiful. She's taking them nice. Well, the FB's loving it out here. It's nice not having this thing cut out anymore and die mid-jump. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Ooh. Oh, kind of lawn darted a little bit there. So far, so good, though. Looks like I got a back tire out of balance on this thing, too. What the... Boy, she would not come over, no matter what I did. It just wanted to stay upside down on that one for some reason. <laughs> Kept giving it gas, it just stayed upside down. There we go. Whoop. A little rough on the front wheel. Still landed it. Alright, well, I think we're going to send EXB one more good time. Oh, kind of came down on the road, cut some tree limbs down. Oh, jeez. The XB's flying nice, though. Sink. But I do have a bad tire in the back. Um, the beads come undone. It's all out of balance. You can feel there's a lump in there. I think the foam is busted apart. And um, that back tire is really badly out of balance. But uh, <laughs> she's still flying good. Well, I lied. We're going to send her a couple more times. <laughs> having too much fun with this thing. Oop. Oh, oh. Landed on our feet, at least. 
definitely some hard hits on these things. Hitting that ramp, um, you know, full speed. It's a pretty sudden jolt to everything. But uh, so far, I learned the tires on this thing. The EXP's flying pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but man, that one back tire is really badly out of balance. It is wobbling all over the place. Shaking real good. <laughs> but, uh, let's send her again. Whoa! Oh, and she landed it. I don't know what that was. I think that was three. I got three backflips out of it. It was all over the place. Well, guys, I think this is going to be our last jump of the day. Had a fun time down here. Wow. She got some good distance out of that one. But, as I was saying, had a lot of fun down here at the park today. Got some good jumps out of them, unfortunately. Uh, kind of broke the outcast. Well, I guess Crate decided to park there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, didn't really break the outcast, but uh, definitely got to fix or replace the uh, shock tower on the back. Bent the hell out of that thing. But, um, and broke the body on it. And I got to get some new tires for the EXB here, because... These back ones are really bad. Um, this is the second set on my Creighton V4. I had the same problem with the tires quickly coming unbalanced and um, just all over the place. So I'm probably going to get a set of maybe another one of the D-boots um, backflips for this thing or something. I'm going to take a look around. But uh, that is going to do it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun down here. So until next time, y'all, be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.